We just entered the Basilica system and a bit of a traffic jam here. Wow, very impressive. More stairs to go down. Need to be careful. This sister were built together with Saint Sophia at the same time by the same architects and it was concluded and completed together with Saint Sophia in less than six years. So when we were talking about the less than six years, we're talking actually about two constructions. A huge water storage actually. It's the largest storage in the world actually. And this was one of the secrets of Constantinople, why the city were never surrendered. Even when they were assaulted over months actually, they never surrender because they always had enough water because this is only one of many, many other sisters which has been here in the upper city, in the Acropolis of Constantinople. That's very important. Um, the walls of this cistern are 4 meter 80, 4 meter 80 centimeters thick and the surfaces has been all covered with a very special plaster actually to uh, become water resistant otherwise the water would actually flee. So to keep it here they had to be really very good uh, in their construction and also in the materials which they were using. They had to use perfect materials so far. Okay, that's very important. The distances between one and the other pillar of column because here they had pillars and columns together and those were all uh, the rest of those pillars which they has been actually uh, using for Saint Sophia. They choose the best ones, separate the best ones for Saint Sophia and those who were not looking very well were used for the underground system because the idea was not that anyone else would ever come back to see them. They were just made to storage water. That's the reason. So four meter eighty is the distance between one to the other, as same as the thickness of the wall. In total, they have been using twelve lines of columns. Uh, the cistern is 140 meters long, 70 meters bright, so you can call it a rectangle. Okay, a rectangle actually. And uh, in total, there has been used 336 uh, columns actually, pillars and columns. Uh, the number of the 12 was still a symbolical number actually, a secret symbolical number to remember the 12th Apostle of Jesus because don't forget it was made in, in a Christian period okay so here in this storage they were able to storage 100,000 tons of water 100,000 tons of water and they were actually using systems like aqueducts which has been carrying the water into the cistern and with hydraulic systems, they could pump the water again out. A need actually, this water were in use. Now, when Constantinople were con conquered actually by the Ottomans, and the Ottomans who were Muslims were not using these storages anymore. Okay, because only for a short time they used these water uh, storages, but then they give up because in our religion, it is not allowed to use still water, but running water. Still water is producing bacteria, microbes, viruses, and can make you really very ill. That was already known in those days. That's why they say, no, 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 only running water. For this reason, this was not in use anymore and was forgotten over centuries, actually, until the beginning of the 20th century, German, German scientologists and archaeologists came 
and they made all these measurements, by the way, which I have been giving to you. They are all uh, a sum of results of their measurements, actually, which they has been done in 1903, 4 and further ahead, okay, before the World War I. Uh, in the 1960s, Turkish government in those years decides to use this underground system as a touristic attraction actually. That's why they built these paths all around, all along actually. And the first who were asking to use actually this system, do you know who that was? You, many of you probably really will know him. He was a very famous actor. Sean Connery, James Bond. 007 oh. was the first movie which has been filmed in this underground cistern actually. There is one scene, he's in Venice, he's in a small boat and then he is moving through a little window, looked like gate and suddenly he appears here and people thought over years actually that this place is in Italy, in Venice, but it's here actually and yeah, so you can get wrong information of course. Now, and there is another attraction here when you go this path and I will bring you there to show you the Medusa heads okay there are two Medusa heads uh, which is one on the side and one is upside down and it was um, well like um, mysterious question what the Medusas the hell had to do here in this cistern the truth is they were just used as um, construction materials nothing else because Justinian the Great, who ordered to build St. Sophia and the underground system, were a fanatical Christian. He was not taking care about pagan uh, constructions or beliefs at all about temples, so he slaughtered them and he recycled all that material. And here, they were only used for the construction because the last few columns were not long enough so to increase their height, they put them just underneath. Okay, that was actually everything and all. So let's go and have a look and then we will come back the same way when we... This is the Medusa head. Yeah, and it is upside down and it's used to support the column. <laughs> this is a second Medusa head and it's lying on its face right now. I think the builders must hate the Medusa so much that they put one upside down on the head and one on the face. <laughs> 